here tonight in the Grand Hotel in Malahide, another crowd of concerned citizens has gathered to hear news of what Fingal County Council is planning. The meeting is being addressed by representatives from the Reclaim Fingal Alliance and other communities who've already had their public meetings and have already begun their protests. It remains to be seen whether Malahide will take up the cudgels on this, as most of the sites are far away from the area, although the prospect of a potential outfall off the coast of Port Marnock must concern some of the citizens here. You've just come out of that public meeting and you've been hearing about the plans for this wastewater treatment plant. What do you think of what's proposed? Um, I think that they're going about it the right way. I don't think that it should be such a big plan because it will affect not just Malahide but all along of the Fingal area um, and not even just the smell and the kind of effects of everybody in the coastal area. So it's environmental issues. It's, um, it's not very a good idea, I don't think. The only way that I actually found out about this was the leaflets that were put in the door from uh, uh, the people who, are, who organised this um, event tonight. So other than that, I wouldn't have heard anything about it, apart from reading stuff in the Irish Times or on the RT News. But other than that, they haven't, Fingal County Council haven't been very informative. So you've just come out of this public meeting, and what's your response to what you've heard this evening? Um, I think it's very interesting that they highlighted the fact that the nine sites are, are spread throughout Fingal to attempt to divide the communities, you know. And the message that I've taken from tonight is that it's not Malahide by itself or Rush by itself. It really has to be a, a, an entire Fingal effort to try and make sure that this plant doesn't come in here. Um, I don't have a problem with Fingal building a plant to deal with its own waste. I do have a problem with Fingal building a plant to deal with the waste from six other counties. Um, you know, as, as we said inside, everyone be their own chair. Those counties should build their own plants and we should build our plant. And do you think Fingal County Council have been good at keeping you informed? Um, no. It, it, the first I heard from this was from my local reps. I wasn't aware that it was in the development plan. Um, it's my opinion, you know, this, this smacks like, like a wood key type situation. We have an unelected Fingal executive telling us that they're going to put this massive plant in. We don't want it, and they know that we can't elect them out if we, if we don't, you know, at, at an election. So they're prepared to go ahead, you know, knowing that there's nothing we can do about it, and that's not acceptable. David Moore, you represent the Reclaim Fingal Alliance, and you were addressing the meeting this evening. Can you tell us how the campaign is going? Cam campaign's going exceptionally well. We, uh, I'm, just, I'm just one of the nine people that met uh, Minister uh, Riley uh, in, in, in the Dáil tonight. Um, he has given us uh, uh, an opportunity to meet uh, Minister Phil Hogan, the uh, Minister for Local um, Government, so we, we, we can put our, our, our views to him. We had a, a good meeting. Um, Brian, our, our, our chairperson, opened the meeting. We all said our piece, and, and, and um, David from, from Skerries uh, did an excellent piece on, 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 the, on demographics and the GDSDS. I think it went particularly well. Uh, Minister Riley also said, uh, gave a categorical statement that he is opposed to it. And uh, so I, we, we also have our, 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 um, our um, demonstration at County Hall uh, at 3.30 next Monday. Um, I think we're, we're moving along well. Uh, there's, we've just finished the meeting here in, uh, in Malahide. This is the eighth public meeting, and uh, it's going particularly well, I think. You know? and so let me, just re 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 let me just ask that again. Um, so did I get you, hear you correctly that Minister Riley is opposed to this development? Minister Riley, at her meeting this evening, said twice that he's opposed to, to, to this whole monster sewage uh, treatment plan the, and what is proposed to the GDSDS. You're correct. So that's a clean sweep. That's every TD in the constituency we've spoken to, and all of the councillors that we've spoken to are all opposed to this. How can this possibly go ahead? Well, um, it's, it's, it's quite interesting that when this was proposed in 2005, is that... Um, there was a, a, a meeting of Fingal County Council and they voted against it. Everyone voted against it and it's back on the table. I, I think it, it really has to go down to Minister Hogan, uh, Phil Hogan, to, to actually say, to take this out of the capital budget completely 
uh, and to revisit the GDSDS because the GDSDS, which was which is the plan for for, for drainage for, for for the Dublin area, is potentially flawed, it's, uh, and we have to look at that whole thing. It was a, a Celtic, Celtic pup, a Celtic tiger pup in, in its days, and we, it, this has to be all looked at. It is interesting about the amount of money that has been spent on this and. Uh, uh, there, there's estimates between 14 million and 17 million that has been spent, which is appalling, you know, it's absolutely appalling. Uh, who's going to pay for this? I have no idea who's going to pay for this. But this is definitely not going to happen uh, and be foisted on, on the community of North, North, North Dublin. And so, on a bitterly cold winter's night, Malahide joins the list of communities that are facing the prospect of an enormous sewage treatment plant on their doorstep. Consequences. For FCTV, I'm Lorcan O'Toole.